In time, we charted the wild unknown, but we kept the name. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Heaven, too. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. Peckers got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. They shouldn't have let their guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out is gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Then Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a lunkhead. Wallflowers survive the calamity. It toughened him up. You best take it real slow when pincushions are afoot. Kid's faster than a slinger with those guns. Good thing pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. Don't ever turn your back on a pin cushion. A handful of windbag shipments made it out this far. Kid seen the last of them. Pow gives a wallflower a taste of its own medicine. Kids roused up half the wilds by now. Kids ain't fond of two-legged animals. Hardly any signs of the old Jawson camp. The wilds already reclaimed this place. He's anxious to get back. After all, he's got the final core.
His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Zolf cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me, said he was going home. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. It takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Want to stay alive in the wilds, pack a pair of pistols and a good blade. Finders keepers. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. After Zolf's little episode, kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know. Somewhere I never want to go. There's no way out. The dead welcome him with open arms. Kid pops him good. A survivor? No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. What do you say to a kid who's seen too much? I'm Zolf of the Ura. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds... Peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, 
Pincushions, fine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. The security's just a man in straight up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff the bull. The gods, they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. His friend, he's come undone too. either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Disgusting things. Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. Hard to get a sure footing in the bog. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak.
They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. Well, a kid prunes it down to size somehow. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. 